Welcome to the services of 3rd Avenue Missionary Baptist Church. We are located in the heart of South Dallas at 2408 Hatcher Street, Dallas, Texas, which is two blocks east of Highway 175. Michael D. Pryor is the pastor. All are welcome to worship with us in any and all of our regular scheduled worship services, beginning Sunday at 9.15 a.m. Sunday School, 10.30 a.m. Morning Worship, and 5 o'clock p.m. Evening Worship, Wednesday, Bible study at 7 o'clock p.m. and midweek prayer service at 8 o'clock p.m. The motto of this broadcast is Passing on the Torch, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. We hope you will find a blessing in today's message. On today, I'd like to call your attention to the sixth chapter of the Epistle to the Galatians. And I'd like to read in your hearing from selected verses. And from this sixth chapter of Galatians, I would like to read verse 2, verse 5, and verse 17. Even though I wish you would read this chapter in its entirety, notice the word bear. And each time you see me, read it. And if you are having, have a pen, why don't you mark it in your Bible? Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Uh -huh. Verse 5, For every man shall bear his own burden. Well. Verse 17, From henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Notice, bear ye one another's burdens in verse 2, uh -huh. and so fulfill the law of Christ. In verse 5, for every man shall bear his own burden. Amen. Last again in verse 17, from henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Amen. From these verses of scripture that I've read in your hearing, I like to talk from the subject, the three bears. Amen. The three bears. And with this being our Youth Sunday, which is every fifth Sunday of the month at Third Avenue, uh -huh. then I am sure, if not all, the majority of you have heard the mythical fairy tale story of the three bears at some point in your life. Uh -huh. However, the message that I want to share with you is no myth. It's no fairy tale. Uh -huh. It's no made up story. But it is a reality. Yeah, yeah. It is the word of God. It is the three bears every Christian needs to know. First, because no one should ever think he or she is totally independent and doesn't need help from others. And no one should feel excused from the task of helping others. That is, in the first three verses of Galatians chapter 6, Paul the Apostle to the Gentiles in the last chapter of this epistle which is a part of the practical section of sanctification by the Spirit which really is a fancy way of saying Paul was now talking to his readers about the freedom of the gospel particularly the marks of the true gospel lived out in the life of the believer in Jesus Christ. Right. And notice Paul said in Galatians 6 and 1, brethren, yeah. because he was talking to yeah. fellow believers yeah. in Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. So he said, brethren, if a man, uh -huh. which is a generic term, because this could be either a Christian male or a Christian woman. Yeah. So hypothetically, if a man, uh -huh be overtaken in a fault, meaning none of us are perfect, yes. and we all make mistakes. Yes. Even though it may come as a surprise to us who yield to what temptations and fall into sin. Yes. Brethren, yes. if a man be overtaken in a fault, uh -huh. in other words, he did not set out with intention to sin, yes. Nor was he endeavoring to stifle his conscience, but sudden temptation yeah, proved too much for him. Uh -huh. 
causing him to stumble, to commit a sin or an awful blunder. Remember, regardless of the trespass, as a child of God, we know from Isaiah 63 and 9, Matthew 28 and 20, John 17 and 20, and Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. We know as a child of God, regardless of the trespass we commit, we have a Savior who loves us and goes along with us in life, even when we stumble and fall. But he never falls. He is always beside us, and he picks us up and brushes us off, and he tells us to start out again because Jesus is our compassionate, comforting Savior, always near us. Yet he is not afflicted in our afflictions, whereby letting us know he uses us to restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. And this word for restore in Galatians 6 and 1 is a medical term, like gently setting a broken bone in place. That is, ye which are spiritual, and that excludes a whole lot of people in the church because this is only for the spiritual, yes, sir. not the carnal, That's right. those who are still babes in Christ. Well, well. Neither does this include the natural man who is the unregenerate, uh -huh. unregenerated lost sinner. But ye which are spiritual, when a believer devastated by sin has been caught off guard, well, perhaps at a vulnerable point, he or she needs to be approached with gentleness Amen. by fellow believers who are controlled by the Holy Spirit uh -huh. and not comparing themselves to the fallen believer. Well. Because the purpose in the first place of going to the fallen believer under the influence of the Holy Spirit is to set him right, Amen. to bring him back, Amen. to recover him from his errors yeah. Yeah. and his faults by affectionate admonition, by faithful instruction, and by prayer. Well. In other words, Galatians 6 and 1 help us to see that discipline mm -hmm. or punishment should not be restored to... Uh, uh, should not be used, rather, uh -huh. until the other methods are tried in vain. Amen. Therefore, with a kind and forgiving spirit, notice not with anger, not with a lordy yeah, and yeah, overwhelming yeah. mind, uh -huh. not with the love of finding others in a fault, yes. not with the desire for inflicting the discipline of the church, right. not with a harsh and unforgiving temper, but with love and gentleness and humility and patience and with a readiness to forgive when wrong has been done. You ought to go to one considering thyself lest thou also be tempted. In other words, don't think that you are immune to what you are pointing your finger and blaming another brother for doing. Well, well. See, remember, you could do the same thing. Uh -huh. So restore him in the spirit of meekness. Well. Or you should act as you would wish that others should do towards you. Amen. Because no one knows into what sins he may himself fall. Amen. In fact, it is a strong possibility he may be tempted. Yeah, yeah, yeah to commit the same sins well. which he tries to correct in others. Well. Or he may commit even worse sins himself. Uh -huh. That's why the person seeking to restore such an one in the spirit of meekness should be tender while remaining firm in beliefs uh -huh. and forgiven while, set, while we set our faces against evil and prayerful while we are compelled by the Holy Spirit to inflict on others the discipline of the church. 
In other words, this is what you call the liberty of love. Yes, because love thinks of others when we pray. Amen. And love thinks of others when we seek to edify. Uh -huh. Love thinks of others uh -huh. when we show kindness and hospitality. Uh -huh. And when we give honor to others. Well. And notice in the first of the three bears, Paul said in verse 2 right. of Galatians 6, Bear ye uh -huh. one another's burdens, Amen. and so fulfill the law of Christ. Well. That is, the spirit-filled Christian thinks of others Amen. and how he can minister to them. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the legalist, on the other hand, is not interested in bearing burdens. Amen. In other words, the excess burdens which we need to share with one another. Yeah. Instead, the legalist adds to the burdens of others. Uh -huh. All you have to do is read Acts chapter 15 and verse 10, and you'll understand what I'm speaking of. Well, In fact, the legalists believe Christians are those who live by a long list of don'ts uh -huh. and do's well, because the legalist thinks that God's favor is earned by good behavior. So their chief concern is that you would recognize real change uh -huh. brought about by God should lead to changes in the behavior uh -huh. of man, right. which may, to many, the legalist beliefs sound good. Well. However, there is a danger in it Amen. because their belief tend to make God's love something to earn rather than to accept freely. Well. And their teaching reduces Christianity to a set of rules and transfer the gospel into bad news right. instead of the good news Amen. that it really is. Uh -huh. Therefore, as important as change in action is, it is much more important to see that God may be designing different changes in you uh -huh. than in others. Wherefore, listen to what Paul had to say about bearing burdens uh -huh. in verse 2. Because nothing reveals the wickedness of legalism better than the way the legalists treat those who have sinned. Uh -huh. Such as in John chapter 8 when the Pharisees dragged in a woman caught in the act of adultery uh -huh. before Jesus and wanted him to condemn her for her sin. Uh -huh. Even though the Pharisees didn't have all of the facts, but based on their suspicions uh -huh. and self-righteous indignations and imaginations, they dealt with her merciless. Uh -huh. However, Jesus, although he could have condemned her yeah. and upheld the legal penalty of the law well. concerning adultery by stoning her to death, uh -huh. he highlighted the importance of compassion right. and forgiveness uh -huh. and stooped down with his finger and yes, wrote on the ground. Amen. And when he lifted up himself, he said to her accusers, uh -huh. he that is without sin among yeah. you, yeah. Let him first cast a stone yes. at her right. and thereby convicted them by their own conscience well. because they were equally guilty uh -huh. of sin. Yeah, yeah. But Jesus, the sinless Savior, said unto her, Woman, well. where are those thine accusers? Uh -huh. Hath no man condemned thee? Well. She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn uh -huh. thee. Yeah. Go and sin no more yeah. because he stands ready uh -huh. to forgive any sin in your life yeah. which should help you understand this message about the three bears uh -huh. which is taken from Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 verse 5 and 17 uh -huh. in other words the first bear in verse 2 we bear is sharing one another's burdens because being Christ-like the spiritual man mentioned in verse 1 uh -huh. would seek to restore the brother uh -huh. in love yeah. but the legalist as in the case of John chapter 8 well. would seek to exploit the brother uh -huh. however the Christian who is led by the Holy Spirit uh -huh. and living in the liberty yes. of grace 
will seek to help the erring brother. Because the first byproduct of the fruit of the Spirit is love. That's why in Galatians 5 and 13, Paul said, by love, serve one another. Because love is fulfilling of the law. And love, according to Peter, cover a multitude of sins. But in contrast, the legalist rejoices when a brother falls and often gives the matter wide publicity because then he can boast about his own goodness and how much better his group is than the group to which the fallen brother belongs because he is full of vain glory which we shouldn't desire. And he cares not about his negative provoking one another uh -huh. in order to secure his own honor and win a popularity contest well. with the world. Yeah. Because according to Galatians 5 and 26, the legalist is too full of envy uh -huh. for it to matter rather than looking to God right. for his approval. Yeah. But on the other hand, notice the spirit-led believer has an altogether different attitude than the legalist amen, amen. because he lives by the law of Christ well, and apply it to his life every day in tender love and care. Uh -huh. Meaning the legalist has an attitude of pride and condemnation mm. and neither does he consider himself uh -huh. but he pretends I will never do such a sinful thing uh -huh. without realizing that no man is immune from falling. Amen. Because in 1 Corinthians 10 and 12, the Bible says, Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Therefore, in humility, the Spirit led saint realize his own weaknesses. And lovingly as well as courageously, he approached an erring brother seeking to help him. Because he know there are burdens that we can share. Uh -huh. And there are also burdens that we can bear. Amen. Since every man has his own peculiar temptations. Uh -huh. And easily besetting sins. That may be a heavy burden. Uh -huh. That he alone must bear. Amen. However there are some burdens. Well, uh -huh. We can aid one another in. Uh -huh. Such as the burden. Known as grief. Right. The burden of tragedy, well, the burden of sorrow, uh -huh. and the burden of disappointment, which is an inevitable burden uh -huh. we all must experience in the human family. Amen. I say that because one day well, grief will come to your house Amen. if you continue to live, uh -huh. especially if it has not already come. Yeah. Right. It might just be your shared burden. Well, to weep with those who weep uh -huh. and rejoice with those who rejoice yeah. because we come into this world with a cry uh -huh. and we need comfort from the first breath we take uh -huh. and all through life we need comfort too because we have a constant foe well. Satan the prince of the power of the air uh -huh. who has the capacity to transform himself well into an angel of light right. and who is aided by many fallen demons uh -huh. who can appear as ministers of righteousness. Well. That is for a while. They too can show an interest and courteous concern uh -huh. for those under a heavy load. Well. However, their false pretense won't last right. because what is missing in their heart is the law of love. In other words, the law of Christ, the distinguishing law of the Redeemer, which in no way better can be fulfilled in not taunting or giving a reproach or rejoicing in the fall of an erring brother, but helping him to take up his load of infirmities and sustain him by our counsels and our exhortations, as well as our prayers. Right. See, this is how the church functions best. Well, when a brother or sister in Christ 
needs correction Amen. or encouragement. Uh -huh. Unlike the legalists, well, according to verses 3 and 4, who loves to make himself look better yeah. by making his brother look worse. Yeah. In other words, in Galatians chapter 6, well, remember I told you I really wish you would read the whole chapter. Yeah. But for time's sake, I'm just dealing with selected verses uh -huh. in this topical message yeah. about the three bears. Uh -huh. But notice in Galatians chapter 6 in verses 12 uh -huh. through 14, Paul said the legalists uh -huh. were guilty of boasting about themselves uh -huh. and their achievements and their converts too. Uh -huh. And they usually did this by comparing themselves with others according to 2 Corinthians 10 well. and 11. But such comparisons are sinful uh -huh. and deceptive. Because it's easy to find people worse off than you. Amen. And then think of yourself to be something. Amen. Even to the point you are confident in your abilities. Amen. That you don't think you are subject to fall. Right. But feel safe and secure. Mm. Even though you are living wholly in sin. Yeah. In other words, you walk around talking about, I'm not like that drunk. Right. But you lie. Uh -huh. You go around talking about, I don't pimp, I don't prostitute, but you use drugs. You talk about, well, I don't do anything illegal, but you're lazy and won't get up and go look for a job, but sit around and overeat and do everything else such as gossip and always stirring up mess. Paul labeled. Such men as being deceived, uh -huh. although they have the highest estimate of themselves, yeah. because they may fall into sin uh -huh. and have need of all the sympathy and kindness yeah. of their brethren. Well. But he think himself to be something yeah. when he is nothing. Amen. In other words, he has no strength well. and no moral worth. And he is not all he apprehends himself to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. But he is lifted up uh -huh. with vain self-conceit uh -huh. and understand not his own character. Amen. Wherefore, let every man uh -huh. prove yeah. his own work. Well, this is by divine inspiration. Uh -huh. Let every man yeah. prove uh -huh. his own work. Because we're not to run around getting everybody to carry our burdens. And that tells me you need to quit running around looking for a handout. Every time you get yourself in trouble. Every time you need someone to pay your bills. You need to realize that you went and made that bill. And now you got the telephone bill. Your number one don't need all the stuff you have on the phone. And it just amazes me how people go back and forth to court. Back and forth, get their credit all messed up on a cell phone bill of all things. You need to get you some Metro PC. We get whatever you need to get. But you need to recognize what really is going on. Because there are some who go around thinking that that's someone else's obligation to bail me out. You made the bill? Pay it! <laughs> I know there are shared burdens. There are sometimes when sickness, there are sometimes when downsizing on the job, there are sometimes when you have to relocate yourself, that there may be times for assistance. But when you let your greed, when you allow your desire to have more than you can afford to take over and you don't live within your budget, quit looking for someone to carry your burden. But we ought to do as do what but what we should do rather is compare ourselves with the word of God. Because anyone who concludes that he is something special through short sighted self comparison with those who seem to have fallen truly according to the scriptures deceives himself. So instead of examining and judging others, a Christian should always examine his own work to see if he is closely following Christ's example. And then shall he have rejoicing 
in himself alone Amen. and not in another because Christ is the source of his joy. Uh -huh. Christ is the litmus test yeah. to compare ourselves to uh -huh. rather than comparing ourselves to one, anyone else. Well, Let Jesus be the measuring stick Amen. because Amen. there is no place for competition in the work of God Amen. unless we are competing against sin uh -huh. and Satan. Amen. And perhaps these words will help someone uh -huh. if you like words like best, if you like words like fastest growing, uh -huh. if you like words like biggest, well, or words like finest uh -huh. to define the ministries of your church. Yeah. Because we're not in any competition uh -huh. and neither should there be any questions well, about who is getting the glory, uh -huh. nor should these words deny you of the right to keep an accurate account uh -huh. because most people who are critical of keeping a record well, they have no re record uh -huh. to report Amen. that's why in describing the first of three bears well, in verse 2 of Galatians 6 which are burdens shared uh -huh. now notice in verse 5 Paul gave the second bear uh -huh. our own heavy load Amen. that we must bear Notice that the second bear is the, our own heavy burden yeah. that we must bear. Uh -huh. Because Paul said, for every man shall bear his own burden. Amen. Just as an expected mother must bear in her womb uh -huh. her unborn child. Uh -huh. And each soldier must bear his own pack well. upon his shoulders. Uh -huh. So must every man shall bear his own burden, Amen. his own load, well. or every man shall have his proper reward. Uh -huh. In other words, the burden that is the load in verse 5 represents the load uh -huh. of personal responsibility, Amen. which each man must shoulder for himself. We never like to end our broadcast without offering our viewers the plan of salvation. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Will you make this confession today? Thank you for watching the Third Avenue Missionary Baptist Church broadcast. For more information about this message, you may call us at 214-428 3695 or 214-428-4250 or write us at 2408 Hatcher Street, Dallas, Texas 75215. We invite you to attend any and all of our scheduled church services. Join us again each week on this station.